good afternoon guys how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking first of all allow me please to share with you the results of our premium group signal uh, we can see that the first two weeks were not really quite promising because the market was full of high impact news so much volatility mark uh, movement on the market so it was not easy at all i mean it's it's good we have reached this level even with the bad market we had uh, during this month of april we can see the first week and the next week also the beginning of uh, the the next half of the month we started to see some good results actually there was some good improvement we can see we are back on green uh what we what happened here was actually uh we can notice that most of it was the euro and the pound they were completely not stable look at that most of the losses were actually pound and euro so it was not really stable uh, market for that uh, period of time but then after finishing all the bad news or the high impact news sorry on the market we are back on the green even for the week followed we can see that this is normal this is nice we still have some uh, running trades but the results are actually quite uh, impressive so far again uh, we don't control the market so it's normal that we had some bad days uh, the market was just unbearable for that time now for the copier um, this is a different uh, broker which I have connected my copier so when I am trading I am actually copying myself on this another account on another broker which is by the way traders way and I'm currently testing it to start promoting it for those who are living in the US and some African countries or, or France those who are not able to use IC markets uh, traders way having really really interesting and very low uh, spreads we can see on their ECN account the spread is nice and this, their service is actually quite impressive so far I'm happy with the withdrawal and deposit system I'm, I'm happy with the fast server so I might start promoting it, uh, them uh, soon only for those who live in the US but for those who living who living in other regions uh, you have to go to the IC markets because they are the number one in my opinion while this traders way is number two they are the best alternative for you if you cannot open account in IC market so anyway the results of the copier so far is actually uh, very good we are now heading to a new system where I can do some swing trades instead of scalping and I am I'm actually doing some uh, other system where I can control the limits uh, sorry limit the losses while aiming big profits and we can see this is happening of course this is demo account before we start uh, opening any fire flames on me uh, this is fifty thousand dollars just just a demo account because i am just using the copier on demo because we need to see if there is any error or any uh, corruption will happen in the connection uh, in the fx blue uh, copier service so we can see the account is in seven thousand dollars profit so far so things are going well so far it's uh, it's going very nice i don't expect the copier service to be running before july we need to be sure this time that the service will be up to the expectations and i cannot take any risk anymore to uh, not deliver uh, a service matching the name of the brand of extreme trader so before we proceed to the analysis of this coming week we have to check what happened to the last week and if my analysis was correct all in all it was uh, correct but in some points the reversal happened earlier uh, for example we have the usdgpy trade i told you that it is good for sell on this resistance and indeed usdgpy has reversed uh, more than all in all more than 75 pips uh, in profit the next trade was for the euro usd i expected it to go more down it it indeed went more down but earlier than the point that have i have given i told you that it is good to sell at this point uh unfortunately it it reversed 15 pips uh, ahead but it actually continued to go more and more down and then we have for the gbp usd I, if I remember clearly, I said we can sell the GBP USD right here and exit on the support, or maybe not. Uh, it was I think here, right here. Anyway, uh, GBP USD continue to go more down, 
it didn't go up as I expected it to go it just hit on this resistance we can see here there, there is a there is a strong resistance we can see here which we have to pay attention for it but I, I thought it will go more down before going again uh, sorry I thought it will go more up before reversing and going more down and for the AUD USD it was very very accurate AUD USD has went down exactly where I said it to be I told you you have to sell immediately and if you did that it went actually uh, in very good profit which about 100 pips of, of profit currently so far and all in all of about 160 pips of profit uh, USD CAD was actually very accurate as well I predicted that the USD CAD will go more little bit more down before shooting up and that is exactly what happened on the pair USD CAD exactly went a little bit more down and then shoot up uh, giving us about all in all 170 pips and currently 110 pips of profit uh, USD CHF I thought it's going down earlier than that I thought it will go down right here but instead it just went more up and we can see here now uh, we have a strong rejection on this level meaning the USD CHF is actually having a possibility of going more down but not for so long it might go down only like if you start selling immediately you can expect about 40 48 to 50 pips of profit but then I advise for you to stay away from the USD CHF because the pair right now if we check the monthly chart the pair is on a very very strong level right now we can see this very strong resistance which was a very strong support uh, 12 years ago 2007 it was a strong support and right now it's a very strong resistance we have to wait to see how the pair will react to this level you really can't right now sell or buy the USDCHF it's actually kind of risky you have to wait to see what will gonna happen and if there will be any price action or any news or anything will happen to help the pair breaking out from this level so until then USDCHF I don't recommend to do anything with it uh, except for sell or um, you can scalp the USDCHF but that's about it you cannot uh, stay on the USDCHF for long term trades so let's start with our weekly analysis for this upcoming week of 29th April until 3rd of May so let's check the Euro USD first Euro USD however is having a strong price action here this price action is my favorite one and it's indicating a possible of reversal of a bullish reversal so I expect that the Euro USD this week will be on a bullish momentum until hitting this previous support before it actually continue to go more down now however uh, if we check the weekly chart Euro USD now is on a very strong support but the pair was able to actually break through from this support now we need to see the rejection here on this support level we cannot rush because if we if we draw the support zone here the support zone will look like this and the pair is still inside the support zone so the normal behavior expected to happen here is the pair will actually go a little bit more up until hitting this previous support and then it might actually continue going more down of course we have to wait but in my opinion if you want to make short trade on the euro usd it's not the right time to short however you can scalp this market if you want with about 60 pips I believe the market will go up but if you want to start selling I recommend that you wait for the other attempt of the support for 1.11299 then you can buy if you want the euro USD it might go a little bit more up until this level here if you want to, to play it safe just uh, buy the euro USD from this level of 1.11299 and exit your trade with about 42 pips of profit on 1.11671 but however after reaching this level here exit your trade and then get ready for the next trade most likely USD is good for sell on this point here 
so you can start to short uh, your USD and I expect this to happen somehow not so many days maybe two or three days maximum and this is gonna uh, be reached remember we are on the daily and weekly chart analysis here let's now go to the GPP USD now the GPP USD the same thing we happened here the GPP USD is actually right now on a good level of support on good level of a support but however it broke from this level that is one of the reasons GPP is actually now confusing to be traded now we have two good price action on daily chart indicating that the market should actually now going on bullish uh, bullish reversal we have a pin bar and we have this reverse hammer this market now is going I think up until hitting this resistance and we can actually start buying the GPP USD immediately uh, expecting about 100 pips of profit but I believe all in all GPP USD is going more down so after hitting this level don't keep your trade because we have here a strong resistance as well which was also a strong support most likely what will gonna happen the GPP USD will go up to this level and then it will reverse more down and going all the way down until hitting this previous support now let's talk about the AUD USD AUD USD <coughs> I believe the AUD USD is actually gonna make another bullish momentum or another bullish reversal we have here the spin bar on daily chart and again the same candle same thing happened with the euro usd and gbp usd is happening right here again um, so i think that is because the dollar is going down because the gold prices are going up the dollar is going down that's why these pairs now are going up so it's expected for the market to go up here not for so long until hitting this level of resistance exactly this level on let me tell you exactly where I think it will be if we want to be accurate it will be on 0 0.7077 nice number so this will be your point if you want to place buy you can start immediately but don't keep it for so long most likely the pair will actually go a little bit more up and then start going more down again let's talk about the USD CAD because this is an interesting pair right now uh, USD CAD has broke this uh, long waiting for resistance um, it was on 20th, 27th uh, sorry it was on 3rd of May sorry 3rd of March uh, the pair has finally broke from this resistance I believe if we want to analyze this correctly the pair will actually go a little bit more down to this support level here yes exactly to this support level on I just want to be sure on 1.34063 most likely now there is a strong rejection here we can see it these three weeks indicating a rejection on the sub on the resistance so most likely what will gonna happen uh, USD CAD will be going a little bit more down before continuing to go more up to hit this resistance level so if you want to start shorting the USD CAD you can do that but make sure you exit your trade at this uh, level exactly again on 1.34063 exit your trade and then we have to wait to see the price action what will gonna happen it might actually continue to go even more down until the support before it uh, resume going more up because if we draw the trend line oh shit sorry that is because I'm sometimes trading with the Chimoko on the black screen on the black wallpaper so that's why it's easier for me so anyway we can see that the USD CAD having a possibility there is a potential for it to continue going more down hitting this uh, support level uh, before it actually continue to go more and more up but if you want to be safe uh, and want to trade it shortly you can just aim about 50 pips on the USD CAD short it and exit your trade 
at the nearest support uh, sorry at the nearest resistance and then wait to see what will gonna happen on this level here now let's talk about the USD JPY USD JPY is on really strong bearish momentum so I believe we had here this resistance yes exactly here so the pair is showing a strong bearish momentum on this resistance level here and it was previously a support and also a strong resistance here most likely the pair will continue going more down I don't expect it to go more down a lot uh, if we want to see where is the strong support level here let's go to the weekly chart so the weekly chart is telling us that we have here exactly here a very strong support level so most likely if you are shorting the USD GPY you can keep your position until 110.805 that is approximately 80 pips and then you can actually buy or, or long the USD GPY I believe it will continue going more up until hitting this previous uh, oh sorry this resistance level 300 pips that is a long you don't want to keep uh, longing or shorting for that long time I'm just giving you the analysis that is my expectation on what's gonna happen that we will see the USD GPY going down here most likely it will bounce on this strong support level here and it was also a strong resistance here it was a strong support here as well most likely it will bounce and go up here but that is gonna take some time we have to wait now we are on the daily chart I believe USD GPY for sell uh, for about 67 pips and should be very good trade actually let's go now to the last one which is the USD CHF USD CHF again I told you uh, it's not really recommended to buy or sell at this moment but if you want to analyze it again uh, uh, we have this strong rejection here so the USDCHF is good for sell only until this uh, previous resistance um, there is a chance that the USD, uh, USDCHF will continue falling right here sorry no even higher right here there is a good chance it will continue falling until this level but then we cannot tell what will gonna happen we have to wait to see um, I expect it to go more up if the bullish momentum was really strong otherwise if the rejection on the resistance was really strong also then it will continue falling more down until hitting this previous resistance hold on right here most likely if the rejection was very strong on the resistance it will continue falling down until hitting this level of previous resistance and then it actually might continue to go more up so all in all the USD CHF in general is going up but of course you don't ever want to buy now you have to wait to reach uh, one of these levels this will be the lowest in my opinion this level here this one on 1.00693 uh, 1 will be the lower it can go to so if you want to play safe you can wait for the USD CHF to reach this level and then you can place your buy I think because we are on the daily chart this is gonna take really long time maybe this will be this will be another uh, two weeks uh, signal so we have to pay attention and be careful when we trade the USDCHF all in all I recommend to avoid it so you will be safe so guys again I'm really sorry for the long video that was my analysis for this week I hope it will be profitable for you and I hope you have enjoyed this video most importantly I hope you are learning from these videos how to analyze the market properly so until then I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching